Uh, so it's good to check up all areas of our lives, the physical, the financial, the spiritual, of course, uh, the relational, emotional, mental, all these different aspects of the life. There's so many facets to us as human beings. Um, and we want to make sure that we are healthy, healthy in every area. So when we do a checkup, we can evaluate in terms of where are we and where, um, you know, what do we need to do to get to where uh, we want to go. Okay, so welcome tonight. Glad to have you all on. Be thinking about what you're going to type into the box uh, when we call for the uh, two areas, uh, your accomplishments from January through June, and then your goals for July through December. So Heavenly Father, I come to you right now in the name of Jesus, God, and I give you praise, honor, and glory for this day. You are faithful, Father God. We may not be where we want to be, but we're further along, I'm sure, uh, than where we were when we started this year. So we thank you, Lord God. Um, and we trust you. Lord God, Holy Spirit, speak through us. Encourage our hearts and minds, oh God, as we all share. Uh, may it be a source of encouragement to someone else that's on here live or may catch the replay. Uh, Lord God, if we don't know where we are, if we don't go to the doctor and, and get the test, we don't know um, what the temperature is, what the gauge is in our lives, just like we need to have our vehicles checked up uh, so that we can um, extend the life of the vehicles. That's the same thing for our physical bodies, our mental bodies, our, our goals. So we're, we're looking at that today, Lord God. So give us direction, give us wisdom and understanding. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. So who is ready to share? Who's ready to share? Who's ready to share? Uh, what have you accomplished? What have you accomplished? Um, Andrian89, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as I said, not, not too small, not too big. What have you accomplished that we can celebrate your success in this year of 2018 thus far? We've had six months. Um, so I'm sure everyone has accomplished something in this year. Don't be the first. Um, or actually, you can be the first. <laughs> graduated. Praise God. Yes, Sierra graduated with her master's in engineering. That's an accomplishment. Major accomplishment in terms of schooling. Any other accomplishments, successes in this year of 2018? Yes, no? Y'all type in home renovations. That is huge. Accomplishment being a first time author. Yes, home renovation, Sam. That is huge because with the renovations, and I'm sure we have spoken about renovations um, within uh, one of our broadcasts. With renovations, sometimes things and people are displaced. Hey, Julia, welcome, welcome, welcome. So if you have a home renovation, especially if there's a family, um, there will be challenges that come with that. Um, yes, and if those hurricane, those renovations are due to the hurricanes, two major hurricanes in St. Thomas, um, that's even more of a challenge uh, because you have gone through um, a major impact in your life. So with the renovations, if it's the kitchen, it may be takeout for a week, for a month, however long it is. Um, you know, if it's bathrooms where you may have two, now it's down to one. So home renovations is a major accomplishment. Angie, you posted a first time author. That is huge. Um, so many of us have books in us. Um, we may be timid. Uh, we may be, um, you, you know, kind of afraid uh, to make that step. Um, but that is accomplishment. Uh, and I share that accomplishment, uh, praise God, as a first-time author. Um, and God has been so good in that. Loss, weight, physical, and mental. Hmm. I would love to hear the testimony of that uh, mental weight loss. Physical weight loss is always a wonderful thing. So I celebrate uh, those accompl accomplishments with you. Um, yes. Um, especially as it impacts your health and it improves your health. So those are great accomplishments. Anyone else with accomplishments on here uh, that you want to share? Um, we celebrate all the successes. 
um, because we had six months um, in getting things done in our lives, developing professionally and fostering great healthy workplace relationships. That is huge. Um, when you can develop professionally and when you can have healthy workplace relationships, that is huge, Brittany. Um, and with that, when you say fostering, um, I see that as you being a facilitator in fostering those relationships. Um, so often in times we're in work environments that we're just enduring, um, you know, we're just putting up with. Um, so yes, that is, that is an excellent, Brittany. Mental, found my voice at work and no longer carry stress from work. That's excellent. That is very good. Um, so where Brittany fostered healthy relationships and she was able to um, be bold and confident in that, sometimes we may be timid um, in terms of confidence, in terms of speaking what we feel. Um, for some of you on here, that may not be you know, an issue or concern. Just today, um, I had an appointment with a dietitian. Um, and this was a second one. Hey, soul crying out. Welcome. Uh, thanks for joining it. This was a second session and pretty much as Sierra said, what about me? Yes, I've experienced a 30 plus pound weight loss from my birthday in March to this past weekend. So yes, I celebrate that. Um, and I'm grateful because I have been praying and confessing and working at this for years. So this hasn't been overnight. This has been a journey for years. Lord, I need a healthy weight loss. Give me a healthy weight loss. And I've been confessing and working and, you know, working out and training and eating differently and just different things. Um, thank you for that, uh, Sam. Uh, so I found something that works. So when I went two weeks ago, uh, thank you for that, Doc Crean. Excuse me for mispronouncing it, if I did. Uh, so when I went last week, uh, two weeks ago to the dietitian, I was like, okay, she's going to tell me I need to eat all these things that I haven't been eating. <laughs> but this plan is working for me in this season. Will it be this way all the time? No, but it's a short time um, deprivation for the lack of a better word because I really don't miss things that I'm not eating for a long-term goal. Um, but we you know, said we'll order the labs. And I knew today when I went in there, I was going to say, you know what, this is it. And just like Angie said, finding her voice, I was able to um, express, you know what, this isn't for me because I cannot comply with your plan. I found something that works. Um, and it's like, well, will it be, you know, for, forever? How long? No, just until I get, you know, to my goal. And then there's maintenance. So that confidence is something that's huge. Um, when somebody can find their voice and you have to do it with tact, um, you have to do it uh, with, in with integrity and respect. So I felt good. So I could relate to that Angie in, you know, sharing it and you know, where it was supposed to probably be a 45 minute session. I was out in about 20 minutes. Did I hurt her feelings? Maybe. Um, however, it wasn't personal. It was just that this plan won't work. So taking the 30 minute drive, the time, the investment, uh, to listen to her saying, hey, do this, and I know it's not going to work for me, that was a huge accomplishment just today. So I celebrate that. Um, and that just boosts my confidence in terms of uh, moving forward. And as I say, I'm an author, I'm a speaker, um, and expecting different um, engagements and opportunities to encourage and speak, not just on here, but across the nations, that is um, a plus. Um, so what, were there any other accomplishments for you all on here? Um, and basically with the title vision checkup, uh, it was write the vision. And those of you who know the scripture, um, I am a believer in Christ. So, uh, my life is based on the Bible. Um, my life is based on the Bible. Thank you, Julia, for sharing that. So I go to the Bible. And of course, that scripture that we're basing this on is in Habakkuk. So congratulations to that, Julia. Accepted into grad school. Um, think, don't bleak. Uh, thanks for joining. That is huge. Um, and it's never too late to start a goal, to start a vision. 
uh, to pursue education, uh, to totally change your career. <laughs> Sometimes, um, you know, it may think like it's crazy, but if you're in um, a place where you're not uh, being fulfilled, if you're in a place where there's no fruit, where you're just going through the motions, it may be time to, you know, reevaluate. So in Habakkuk, um, chapter 2, verse 2 and 3, and I'm going to read it from the Amplified Version. It says, and the Lord answered me, have, talking about the prophet Habakkuk, and said, write the vision and engrave it so plainly upon tablets that everyone who passes may be able to read it and easily and quickly as they hasten by, so as they walk in by, they'll be able to see it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, and it hastens to the end, to fulfillment. It will not deceive or disappoint. Though it tarry, though it seem like it's taken forever, wait. Wait how? Wait earnestly in expectation for it, because it will surely come. It will not be behindhand on its appointed day. And that's the word of the Lord to Habakkuk. And I received that um, as the word of the Lord for me and for us. Last night I was in the office and, um, you know, trying to clean up my watch later videos. God confidence is what matters in accomplishing all of our goals. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm going to come to one of my favorite scriptures on that in a moment. I was cleaning up my YouTube folders uh, for watch later and I say this song, it's um, <laughs> Island Dialect, because it's a group from Trinidad, the blood of Jesus over your family. Um, and that's my uh, U.S. dialect saying that. But it's the blood of Jesus over your family. And basically, I danced and I would say ward in the spirit with that for about an hour. And I was just going. I got like 4,000 steps on that because, yes, uh, fitness is part of my, you know, planning routine. And I was just going through the office. My vision board is in the office. And one of the goals that I put on there was to have my business, T. Rose Productions, event planning. Hey, Claudia, thanks for joining. Establish. It says business established in the first quarter. Okay, well, we're entering the third quarter. The business has been established. And when I looked at that, it's like the Lord said, okay, well, what's the next part of the goal? So I'm like, nothing has been happening. And it's like, what's the goal? So, of course, the quote unquote recovering perfectionist that I am, I went to the computer, turned it on because I was going to type up the new goal. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Claudia. I was going to type up the addition to that. Well, it's established. Now what? And we don't have Wi-Fi because we're changing our, you know, providers and all that. So it's like, okay, I won't be able to print it out. Shucks. But you know what? The new me didn't let that stop me. I went, got my purple pen, and I wrote on the goal I call in customers, contracts, and clients. So that's something. That's something, yes, warfare time, and it is warfare time, <laughs> and truly, that is how I felt, because I couldn't let it go, because I'm waving, I'm praising, I'm shouting, I'm thanking God, and I thank God for that revelation, like, you put the goal up here, it was accomplished, and that was just an encouragement to me, that when we write it down, when we write the vision, it will come to pass, and I put a time frame on it, in the first quarter, it was done, I worked it, so now that I added something new and different, I have something more to work towards. Amen. And of course, health and fitness is one of the goals on there um, with the end of the year uh, being the time to accomplish that goal. And I'm focusing on that. I'm just focusing on that. Health-wise, I'm feeling so much better. Uh, so that's a blessing. Um, so God is good. Any other accomplishments for you all? All right. Hearing none. What is a goal that you have down that you want to accomplish? If you have it written already and you haven't seen it, um, what is it that you're going to focus on? Um, if it's something that just came to you based on where you are now, what is the goal that you're going to focus on in this new, uh, the next six months? Anyone? 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 No goals? What do you want to see accomplished physically, mentally, emotionally, relationally, financially? What goals do you have? This makes you think. 
This makes you accountable. Incre increase sales productions. We call in those contracts. We call in those sales in Jesus' name. So as you are diligent, uh, God will honor that. So we thank God that he is um, putting your name before those who want the services that you provide. Amen. And that is a goal for myself as well. I put calling contracts, clients, and customers. So I will be seeking God for where. Where do I um, go for those customers? Where do I want to promote uh, for the business that I have? How do I want to obtain speaking opportunities and book signing opportunities? Sierra, I think that's a goal that all of us can have, and that is balance. Sometimes we may feel overwhelmed with what's in our plate, and that's why some of you may not be putting down on a goal that you have, because it's like, okay, I have these 10 goals, but I have, I have no idea how I'm going to accomplish them. And of course, as I said with the, uh, what um, Angie talked about, our confidence being in Christ, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That scripture has gotten me through so many different things. So the balance, Lord, show me balance. Um, help me to be a good steward over my time. It may mean getting to bed earlier. You can't stay up until midnight because then you're not functioning at your full capacity in the morning, in the time that you're supposed to function. Um, some of you may need to use your phone, may, may need to use um, electronic devices for reminders. If you're forgetting different things, Put that reminder in the phone. Um, you know, I use my phone for everything. I have notes. Um, I have an iPhone. Um, uh, I have notes, and I put everything in my phone. Um, so that help keeps me on track. And I, I, like I said, I'm an event planner, and I thank God for the clients that he's raising up because I have excellent services that I can uh, benefit and bless them. So, yes, all of us will be better balanced in our lives. So that's a good goal. Women's retreat um, for Angie. Write it down and start the planning. It's already in the work because there are women that need to hear what you have to say. Amen. So it's 620. We're on here with encouragement and inspiration for 15 to 20 minutes. Today was a checkup, nothing too deep, nothing too heavy. Uh, deep in the fact that it makes you think, am I where I want to be? What do I need to do differently? Um, if, if there's clutter around you, it may be time to organize. Um, we just started July. Take this week. If there's something that needs to be fixed, something that needs to be repaired, something that needs to be thrown out, get rid of it. Move it out the way. It will make you feel lighter, literally, when you take care of that. Okay? So as we sign off, think about what's the vision for your life. And as I said, for me, um, being a believer in Christ, it's like, Lord, show me. Show me what I need to do. So, you know, show me what I need to do to increase sales. Show me what I need to do to have balanced life, to plan that retreat, to prepare for grad school, and all the various goals that you have. Okay? And celebrate the small successes along the way. Okay? So God is faithful. I wish you all the best. I'm here again coming to you from Arizona on Monday evening, 6 p.m. Uh, Mountain and Pacific Standard Time. Uh, those of you who are joining me, feel free to come on back. Feel free to watch the replay to catch the other broadcasts. We have been on here since December 25th. Christmas is when we launched uh, the Monday night sessions. So I thank you all for your support, your love, your hearts. Feel free to share with your followers, share on Facebook, and um, look forward to exciting broadcasts for the rest of the week and the month. Blessings. Thank you to you all. I asked God to allow me to take a certification, and he did. Praise God. And we thank God for that. And with that certification, he's going to bring you more clients and customers. So we know that uh, you will have a balanced schedule to be able to manage all the customers that he is sending you, Claudia. It, it is so. So y'all be blessed. Be productive. Um, we'll have another checkup probably at the next quarter. Um, but no, I'm rooting for you. I'm pulling for you. Thank you for sharing uh, a few minutes of your evening with me. And uh, until the next time. Be blessed. Love you all much.
God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be encouraged, y'all.